Most jump instructions have a literal destination encoded in the instruction word. The exceptions to that are return and execute, which obtain the addresses else otherwise, and we'll discuss those shortly. However, the coding of the instruction words for uh, jumps with literal destination addresses is something that a programmer needs to be aware of. <coughs> the last format down here doesn't really count. It shows a jump of the only sort which you can have in slot 3, namely a return, semicolon. So we'll forget that for the moment. Otherwise, there's no such thing as a slot 3 jump. A slot 0 jump can go anywhere. It has a 13-bit destination field, much of which we don't use presently. However, those bits are there and available for future instructions head ex extensions. At any rate, a slot 0 jump can reach anywhere in memory, in RAM or ROM, or in the register address space, the I.O. address space. So that's the most universal of the jumps. A slot 1 jump, namely a jump instruction of any kind, call, if, minus if, that is preceded by some other opcode within the instruction word, only has 8 bits left for a destination address. In the F18A, that is not sufficient to address I.O. space. And in fact, you cannot reach I.O. space using a slot 1 jump. This is important to remember if you are executing code in a port. A slot 1 jump will go to man, RAM or ROM. It will not stay in some port. You cannot jump to yourself or another port uh, from, from a port using a slot 1 jump. Otherwise, the address is literally whatever it says here. But the IO select bit will be forced to zero when the jump is taken. Finally, we have the slot 2 jump. The slot 2 jump only has three bits left, and it's very local. It's like a jump within page, where the page boundaries occur every eight words of memory. What happens when a slot 2 jump is executed is that the current value of P, and notice that it will have been incremented, it's at the very least pointing at the next word, because we've already fetched this word. So it's already pointing at least there. And if there were any literals invoked in here, like uh, standard fetch P opcodes, or, or store P if one's getting really risque, the P value will have been advanced further for each one of those words that were fetched using it. So, whatever value P has at the time this slot 2 opcode is executed is the one whose lower three bits are replaced by whatever it says here. And that will either be reachable or not, depending on where you had in mind. The compiler takes this into consideration. The compiler will, in fact, give you an error message if you attempt to jump forward or backward from a slot to jump to a destination that you cannot reach from that point.